Yeah, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Kills with Frosty. I'm here with my man. Flight School Prick. Yeah, we got Loki Shmula. Loki, what's good with you, man? Cracking up. Ain't shit, ain't shit, man. You know we did the interview on the block in Brownsville the other day, you know what I'm saying? A few months, right. like a month ago. You know what I'm saying? It was a blue face situation. Mm-hmm. But yo, now we on the podcast, man. So we gotta get down and dirty, man. You know what I'm saying? We got we gotta know anything, everything, Loki, you know what I'm saying? Right. Everything. Fuck everybody, man. <laughs> Bro, Gang man, only. Hold on. Hold on. That's That's it. It. Fuck everybody, man. Gang only, man. All right, let's Great start. way to start the interview off. All man. right, let's start us like That's this. The we so need, tell man. us who Loki is, man. Exactly where you coming from, bro? Brownsville, East New York, anywhere with the Crips that were district set. All right, all right, all right, man. So tell us the history of Loki, man. Where Loki come from? What's your what's your struggle, man? Like we have the podcast today, bro. So we we talk yeah, about facts. everything. You know what I'm saying we're not holding nothing back. So um. So basically, man, I know you had a situation like uh, with your son and all that situation. You want to break that down for us, bro? Oh, yeah. Man, I tell the niggas, man, I'm King GK, man. I, I, man, and the reason why I say that is like my energy is why the homeboys, the older, like a lot of the little homies, they run with the whole GK shit. Like, I've been on that top for 10, 15 years. Like, anybody that claimed GD from where I'm from, which is where the Crips be saying they scared to go, which is Marcus Garvey Pistol Street. I'm there, I'm always there by myself. Two words, but it's like, it's like, niggas took it and started playing with that shit. Like that shit is a game now. Like that shit is not a game. There's niggas that really don't like GDs, bro. Like I got two, three friends that's folk, four friends that's folk, don't get it twisted. I gotta put that out there because they be feeling ways when I don't say that. But it's like, everybody else, nigga, I don't fuck with them niggas cause them niggas is evil, right? Niggas do shit that Crips don't do. That, one, one thing I um like, like I found you on the on the net. You mm-hmm. send me a lot of hate. You know, a lot of trolls fuck with you and shit. But mm-hmm. I don't think they know your story like that and shit. Know what I mean, and yeah, that's, that's how I one feel thing so. I think you need to like. You know what I mean, son? Because I think if people know you know knew your story more, yeah, you know what I mean, son, they, it would be a whole different perspective. You it's understand like, me? It's like, it's like what I've been through, right? It's like. All right, break it down to you like this. I'm from Garvey. I'm from Marcus Garvey. Pistol Street. Before any of you niggas that's up and coming try to claim that shit like they the ones who got it lit, I got it lit. I'm from Pistol Street. Marcus Garvey. Brownsville, Brooklyn, you heard? Um, Mr. Made the Block Go Viral First himself. Uh, Yeah, so we've been going back and forth. Well, I've been going back and forth with GDs and blood niggas from my hood from back in the days. So 10, 12 years ago, 13, 8 years ago, 7 years, 5 years ago, whatever, still right now. Going back and forth with them niggas. And in the midst of me going back and forth with them, things happen on both sides. Things happen to them, things happen to my people. So, me being an aggressive one, niggas took it upon themselves. It's like they couldn't get next to me. Like, I moved too tactical. So, niggas took it upon themselves. Like, all right, he's the energy. He's the one that keep them niggas on time. And he's the one that makes sure that we can't come over here. Because once he come over here, he makes them tell us that we can't be over here. So, in all of us to just be one happy family and we all be friendly with each other in Garvey, we got to get him out of here. So, they, what they did was they tried to kill me and my son. They missed, shot my son. And in the midst of that, I ain't, I'm not no, no snitch ass nigga. Not saying it like that, like fuck the streets when they come down to my family and shit, but I got like something called pride, dignity, and morals for myself. Like I'm not telling on no man, I'll kill you before I put you in jail. Like or try my best to do something I don't, to the nigga. I don't think putting a nigga in jail is gonna heal a nigga. Nah I'm saying a lot of niggas just say that, but I really had to feel that shit because I was sitting in the cell nigga every day. That's what I'm saying, that's why I feel your pain. Couldn't you go to sleep. Me? I still don't sleep I still don't sleep at night to this day. Niggas don't be known, bro. Homies be thinking like niggas be saying all the shit about me, y'all niggas go to sleep at night. Y'all niggas come home and get to play with y'all kids. This is y'all what I this this is why I, this is why I really really want you to put your story out there because a lot of people don't really know your story and it's like you really got a fucking story right, and shit. Right, I mean, right. a lot of these niggas don't really have a story and shit. So basically, I mean? like um, so. To me, that shit's always been a touch of story. I ain't even gonna hold you, my nigga. I heard about it from the day it happened. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna lie to you, cause even when I was in the streets, like the back when I was younger and shit, I heard about this situation. I was like, God damn, like I couldn't even imagine, cause mm. like you know what I'm saying, this is my personal point of view. You know what I'm saying I couldn't even imagine being in that situation, cause I don't think dogs, nobody could. I don't, I don't know what I'll do. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna lie to you. Thing too, 
Another thing, I want to say this. I'm going to say this exclusively on this shit because you my man. Listen, a lot of, let's, let's put this on the record. I don't owe nobody that claim a deuce trade, crib, nothing. I don't owe y'all niggas shit. Y'all niggas owe me. And why I'm going to say that is my motherfucking family still fucked up and they going to forever be fucked up behind this shit. Y'all niggas ain't do nothing. So I don't know how niggas be sitting down uh, saying so much about Loki that I'm doing something good myself. What I'm going to do, right? If I'm, a, if I'm a sergeant or a war sergeant, whatever the fuck you want to call it, boom. And I'm the nigga sitting down reacting, reacting, reacting. When if a nigga knock me off the count, who gonna react? Mm -hmm. So this is why the homies be mad at me because they trying to play a mind game with me now. Niggas want to have me, and I can publicly say this because it's like everybody in the world, police, everybody already knows what's up with me, what the fuck I'm into, what I've been into. So it's like ain't nothing out in the world. Niggas know what's, you feel me? It is what it is. For me, but it's like now the homies see me doing something good, and it's like none of them want to step up to the plate. Everybody's just gangster killer, shooter, rapper, but none of them want to be the ones to step to the niggas that I've been stepping to before I've been rapping. Mm -hmm. Why you think you hear all these diss songs? You don't hear niggas saying my name, bro. They talk about all the homeboys, right or wrong. Niggas not saying that they can't do it, but niggas know it might be a headache saying nice. my name. It's not gonna be just saying I'm not gonna rap beef with you. I rap beef for rappers, six nine, blue face, all them weirdos. Street shit, I'm not getting into the street. We live 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, 2 blocks from each other. I'm not going in the studio to make a song about you. Nigga, you better oh, get your Straight up. We're going to just go back and forth. We're going to shoot it out. Ain't going to be no. I'm doing none of that, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. And my thing is, I think what, what, what fucked me up in the industry is that the way I came in, I didn't have the right mentors behind me. Meaning, I came in on some peacemaker, like, trying to not be myself. You feel me? Yeah. Like, on some straight get money shit, that's not me. I get money, but that's not me. The aggressive shit is me. That's, I've been the nigga that people allegedly say start trouble. And that's what I'm saying. So I got to do it differently. Even, I think if you would have been on your aggressive shit from day one, the story would have been told. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I should have kept it. But I try to be different because I got people like my moms and them. Oh, stop starting trouble. And, oh, grandmother. And, oh, God. And Loki and the, that type of shit, so you gotta chill, you feel me, cuz? Yeah, you, 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 like, you got Caribbean yeah, background. Yeah, you feel me? They on my ass with that shit, so it's like, I can't even do too much. Those are the people that when you locked up, they the ones that's, they the ones that's packages, yeah, 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 yeah. they the ones that's picking up the phone, doing these streetways, they the ones that's taking care of all the, all the, all the get down, good looking right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta have respect for them people at the end of the day. The yeah. gang ain't gonna, that's what I said, the homies, it's better be lucky, and I can say this, like, no disrespect to nobody. But the homies better be lucky that I'm dedicated and I love who I am and what I am because I never showed niggas no signs of disloyalty. Niggas showed me each and every sign of disloyalty after what I've been through. Like, what's your point? What do you consider a nigga being dedicated to something, right? They say when you gang banging, right? When you a kid, you coming yeah, up. Pull, pull up to the mic. Yeah, when, when you a kid mind. and they say you coming up and all that. What they consider you being, like, certified? When you do shit to people, people do shit to you, shit happen to your family, you go to jail, you don't snitch, you get money, you keep your image consistently good for decades, you know what I'm saying? Meaning, you keep you, you, you keeping well, yourself yeah. looking, you hygiene up, you getting money, you doing shit, you're not aware though. You keeping mm -hmm. yourself up the par, that's lit cripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think when I say lit crip, it's because I'm saying I'm the lit crip. No, lit cripping is a lifestyle. Lit cripping is just, mm -hmm. everything is lit. Mm -hmm. I'm cripping, but I'm lit with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm lit, but I'm cripping with it. Either way you want to put it. It's just keeping yourself active, doing shit. Doing what the average crip ain't going to do. Doing what the average nigga on the block ain't going to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, man. So listen, um, so boom, you got on your shit, whatever. Um, anything happened to you in the hood, you started rapping. So now you started rapping, and you started getting into all this other shit. Like, boom, you got to fast forward that. Because I want to fast forward through shit, because a lot mm -hmm. of people know some certain things about you. But as far as the 69, 69 situation, you know fuck what I'm that nigga on crit. That nigga's a bitch. Oh, I ain't even gonna <laughs> show the DMs, but that nigga be writing me since he came home. I dropped that song called Like That. I seen and that video, he know that I was talking about his bitch ass. I ain't wanna <laughs> say his name. The niggas always just saying I'm cloud chasing when I say his name. So I only say his name like two song, two times in the song, which was the hook. But it's like. Just to let him know, you bitch ass him, I'm talking about you. Mm -hmm. Niggas come home with they strikes back. But, um, yeah, then he goes in the studio. One of my little mans from Bushwick, name is Goobs. Yeah, get money, little nigga. You don't really fuck around with none of the internet shit. Like, he just to get money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get money, get nigga, get money. For the weekend, the nigga, get money. He goes and names the song Goober. Oh, right after. 
So basically, you trying to tell me that sooner he just named it still, he's still doing the same shit he was doing before naming mean, shit. Like, just to like when he named the he other song. Are you dumb? Cuba. Stupid? I mean, or dumb? Cuda, right? He had named mm-hmm. that song Cuda before. Yeah, why you think he did Off that? Off the street name. I'm from Brownsville. Cuda do that shit. He needed ties to Brownsville. He shot that video on Mother Gas and it gave me tight with a bunch of police around him. So now he shot Goomba based on the real street name you saying? You gotta listen to what he's saying in the song. When he's saying all oh, you do, he's gonna fight and all that. What you doing? What you talking about? Whole summer gym situation. Mm-hmm. You feel me? The nigga, bro, I get under his skin because he know what he did. I made him, bro. Like the nigga sat down and studied my career, studied my formula, studied my formats, studied my strategies, and seen. All right, this is what's working. This is what the people want to see. This is what I gotta do. My downfall was I love the scriptures so much that I sit around and oh the homeboys, I'm turning down deals. And distribution, this and marketing and management, and people that want to help me, and this and third. And now I'm with the gang, and I'm with this, and with the mom, all this dumb shit. And these same niggas ain't even reposting nothing, or telling a nigga to play my shit, or they not even, you know what I'm saying? Not even because it don't sound good, it's just because they want to be biased. Like, oh, nah, that's low, fuck that. Let that nigga sit and just shoot with people and selling drugs and getting something. So somebody kill him when you go to jail. That's what niggas want to see from me. Niggas don't want to see me through nothing else. I'm like, it's either shoot a hundred niggas. So I go to jail or a nigga gun me down. I'm telling you, bro. That's what niggas want to see, bro. I'm telling you, I learned to understand this shit. This is why people can say now, yo, Loki's pussy. I feel good when niggas say that. You know why? I feel like you done. When you tell me I'm pussy. Is no, no, no. Somebody, even the homies in the streets, they don't tell me out of my face. But the ones that sit under their breath, I feel good when they say that. Because now it's like, I'm smarter than you. Before you could tell me, yo, you pussy ass nigga, I'm jumping in the car with the Mac on me. Nigga, I'm jumping in the car with the Mac on me, nigga. I'm coming through 32, I'm coming through. Where you at? On crib, chopper, I'm gonna steal me a car. What's up? Where you at? By myself. Homeboys know I ain't lying about nothing. I dare nigga to comment under this fucking video and tell me I'm lying, nigga. Don't make no fake pages and do it neither. For me, it's just like that type of energy, but now it's like when you tell me whatever you tell me, I hear the window, but it's like, cuz, what do you have going on, cuz? Like, why am I looking for you? Yeah. Like, what's, what's the purpose of me jumping in my car coming to look for you? Like if you want my energy, step in my circle. You're going to get my energy. That's why I'm telling niggas, like, niggas say I'm pussy. Because I don't go look for niggas. I'm not going to waste my time looking for you unless you did something to me and I feel it's worth it. Yeah, that nigga shook you up. Yeah, I'm not no dummy, bro. Free Ziggy Zai, nigga. Free schemes, free clips. I got homies that ain't never coming home, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Homies ain't ice slow. Homies ain't never coming home, bro. You know why? It's not even their fault. They didn't have time to set their temperatures. They didn't have time to get their thoughts right to do what they had to do the right way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not even their fault. It's just like me. If I ain't go through certain shit I went through, and I ain't have enough time to sit in the jail cell after my son got killed, I wouldn't think how I think. You know what I'm saying? So I don't blame certain homies for still being stuck how they think. You know what I'm saying? And they would try to kill you on the news for not talking, too. Yeah, they, my father got all the news yeah. articles. I'm waiting. Well, I'm going to write a book soon. Yeah. I got like 20 <laughs> news articles. Tell you got to put your story out there, bro. I got to put your story. Listen, fast forward to all of that. You know what I'm saying? You get into, um, obviously that shit happened with 6 9 6 9 ended up being a rat. Although he back home doing all this other shit, he's still That nigga rat. had Meat Mills, Rick Ross. Yo, listen. I see all these rappers talking now. 6 9 6 9 6 9 Nobody even wanted to take a picture with me when I was, yo, boy. You yeah. industry niggas need to chill. I wish this was a fucking, oh, yo. Man. You industry niggas need to chill. Like, for real, for real. Yo, cuz. You industry niggas, you industry niggas need to chill. You niggas, you niggas sit down and, and, and y'all niggas, oh, nah, Loki shouldn't like clout chasing. You a hater. Or you mad because he number one on Billboard. Or you mad because he, he this. You mad he got more views than you. And I'm telling y'all exactly, if you watch my videos... You can't video, listen to them niggas, I'm some weirdos. I never did listen to them. Niggas from like New Zealand and yeah, shit. Bro, I had 875,000 people calling me pussy, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. I got screenshots on my now. I got 875,000 <laughs> calling me pussy at one time. You think that shit ain't feel like? That shit is annoying. Bro, I've been in jail, bro. I had to go to the yard. Look how skinny I am, bro. Niggas trying to rip my face off, bro. I had to go to the yard, walk the yard. You think a nigga on earth could tell me I'm pussy? With the shit that I've been through, I can't. I'm gonna laugh at you, bro. I ain't got no points to prove. My points to prove to myself. All right, yo, fast forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, the shit happened with you with um, with with um, when Blueface had that funny shit. Bro. Oh, fuck that nigga too. Whack one hundred. This old crush. He was ass. on his body, man. Fuck that nigga. Yeah. Like, what happened with that? That's another thing. Ron Suno, Ron Suno, suck my dick. And I'm gonna say it like that. Nah, fuck that. Nah. Wait, 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 wait. Ain't no wait, filter on that. Wait, I ain't no filter. If he got I a problem with it, where it came from, though. All right. 
He went, New York niggas, I'm going to explain this to you. Because you a real New York culture type person. Like, you for the culture. Yeah, I'm for the real culture. Definitely. Exactly. Give you that respect. I, I love my city. A lot of these niggas, not for the culture. If a nigga come at, I don't hang with Chef G. I don't hang with uh, Fabio. That's the home where I used to chill with the cousin when we was younger, but as of right now in life, fuck all this clout chasing shit. I don't hang with niggas. I don't hang with Fetty. I don't hang with Rowdy and Bobby, them niggas locked up free the homeboys. I don't hang with certain niggas. But guess what? I don't hang with Ross Swish. I don't hang with none of these niggas. But guess what? If a nigga from another state say something about one of these niggas, I'm not gonna say, hey, my name is Loki, I'm the big homie, come do a song with me because I got status and I'm Gucci. And niggas can't tell you nothing, and I can really do that. Niggas know they're not gonna tell me nothing. But I don't do shit like that, bro. It's like certain shit you just don't do. So he runs now, hey, look, you should not be with Blueface. Blueface, jump on my song. Who like that? Braun Suno. Oh, I understand he a kid, but you gotta like respect the culture. You from New York, my nigga. When you got a name and an image for this city, you gotta move a certain way for the city. That's what y'all niggas don't understand. Like me, I'm a crip. I can't do certain things because I'm a crip. It'll make everybody that what I am look crazy. So certain things I can say and cannot say. You gotta know how to use your platforms. You niggas don't know how to use your platforms. Y'all niggas get a platform and y'all get friendly with the world. You don't need every piece of clout, bro. Every clout ain't good clout, bro. You gotta know when to make your moves, when to put your pieces on the board. Y'all niggas wanna be do songs with everybody that make hip hop. Niggas shot your man, and because he got a million followers, I'm gonna go do a song. No, I'm gonna go no, do no, no integrity, man. I, I, I mean, told my I mean, guy I mean, that that's We're just talking to the homies. A lot of niggas been down the new generation. This shit has been happening for after. Shit is wacky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit wacky. All right, so let's fast forward now. Now that you back on your music shit, you know what I'm saying? I see you doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I right. said, for the blue face situation, you stood up for pop smoke or whatever. Yeah, yeah, um, see, I peach to the cousin, man. I think too, I'll be telling the world, man. And I would ask for the world. Like, that wasn't my direct little homeboy, but he was a little homeboy on the ship. So it was like, I'm going to speak up for him because a lot of people don't have a voice. And if they do have a voice, they don't know what to say. Niggas are just making songs and trying to get views off of this and that. No. Sometimes you got to worry about having people respect the nigga's name, respect so his spirit and his soul could rest. Niggas got niggas running around saying certain things about him. Oh, I'm smoking on this, I'm smoking on that. Because y'all opening the doors with niggas. Don't play with niggas like that. We ain't even going to play. i slap the shit out of these niggas. That's not even my little homie, bro. But niggas know certain little niggas that clean whatever they clean that he didn't like. That said what they said about him, I done ran down on niggas myself. I don't gunplay or nothing either, so I can say this on the camera. I done ran down and, and put hands on niggas myself for saying certain shit about that little nigga. So it's like, fuck all that blue face shit. I'm really in the streets where niggas gotta respect it. I go in Garvey, certain hoods where niggas don't like Pop Smoke. And I turn his music up full blast, nigga. And nobody telling me nothing. Tell me touch a radio off, it's gonna be fucking problems right now, nigga. Facts, you know what I'm saying? Homeboy's not doing that. And that's why I turn it, it leaves room for niggas to disrespect. He didn't lose his life from an op. Niggas don't know what's going on. Yeah, we Y'all don't know what's going on. We're going to talk about that. No, we're not getting into none of that. I was just saying. No, the good. ops be saying certain nah, shit. Nah, don't nah. take credit for shit. Y'all didn't do it. Don't try to take credit for shit. Y'all ain't doing it. Let's talk about this, man. Let's talk about this. That's another story. Lit Crip. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me Oh, yeah, the mixtape out now, man. Lit Crip, man. Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. My mixtape's that pin front page trending. When yeah. you came in, you said you got a new mixtape you're working on. We need to put that oh, out Lake there, Crip too. Two on the way. That shit about nah, to be out. Nah, that's, right? that's, that's, that's not the name you said when you walked in this motherfucker. Oh, you want to you wanna spice it? Listen, yeah. man. I don't know what's going on with Gucci, man, man. With 1017, man, I don't know what's going on, man. Lit Crips is here, man. We put a page on this shit. Gucci, man, used to be my favorite motherfucking rapper. Hold on, you got him, Mike. Why? I mean, I come out of time for that shit. Gucci, man. Every time I say that nigga name, Hey yo, this nigga fire! Say no name, man. Yeah, like, hey, hey. Any, any nigga from Brooklyn, I want to see any every nigga from Brooklyn that got a uh a, like a tone of ambition win. Feel what I'm saying? Get it? Whether you folk, blood, crip, get it, my nigga. Feel what I'm right. saying? Not because I don't I don't like crips. I don't like folks. I don't like bloods. I got beef with niggas in my own set. So just because I say I'm GDK don't mean I don't bang on crips. I bang on every. I don't give a fuck. You disrespect me as a man. That's what it come with. I just don't like GDEs because what happened to my kid? That's a so you don't understand. My son got killed on folk turf. Even though blood and the folk did it, it still happened on their turf. 
They was aware of that. They could have stopped that. They could have prevented that. So I don't handle no sorry shit. They're trying to get at you? Yes. Blood so, and a crap. Let me tell y'all something, bro. You see this woman in the show shit? and the folk at the same time? Let me tell you something, bro. You see this woman in the show shit? This is, I'm going to say something that no rapper in New York City can say right now. The woman in the show shit, this shit is spiritual, bro. We need you people, to talk about that. Listen, I'm going to say something that none of these niggas can talk about. 90s, Brownsville, Connor RC, none of these niggas. Crip blood. Uh, that shit is, this shit is spiritual. Meaning, y'all niggas killed my kid and y'all thought that Loki was going to be the only one. I said this shit in Garvey when all the homies was not standing behind me like, yo, fuck these niggas. These niggas is on this type of time. They trying to kill off all the homeboys. Niggas want to be peacemakers. Yo, we getting money. Niggas making $200, $300 a week talking about we getting money. I say the streets probably ain't sliding. For real. Yeah, they ain't sliding because they making two, three hundred. Come on, bro. I don't want to hear that. I'm running through 10, 20 packs doing different shit. Like, niggas know me, bro. I, I done went up and down with certain shit because of my love for my kid. Anytime niggas see my financial matters went up and down, it's because of me having another child and me promising God, like, on some shit. Like, if I was blessed like that again, this is how I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. That's why you think the clock comes to me. I don't care about this shit. It's spiritual, bro. I don't got to wake up and try to dick ride, diss rapper, French Montana, Gucci man, this one, that. I don't got to do none of that, bro. I made it this far with no code signs, verified, iTunes verified, Spotify verified. Yeah, I mean, verified, shout out to you because you know you got, you got your yeah, you got your check on there. No code signs or nothing. No code signs, I should. Tell me, bro. Tell me that, bro. That's just low-key smooth it works. Word. After they black me and all that. That's just like I said, like, I don't knock Gucci man for what he did, cuz. Before you try to see what's going on with the war. Cause after you're steaming on into it. Because after that, the fucking promote 6 9 you're not having that, you know what I'm saying? That ain't hip-hop, act. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a DJ, cuz. Academics is a 6ix9ine. Uh, uh, Cheerleader, my yeah. nigga. Nigga has pom poms on, my nigga. Fan. Like, yo, dogs. They I never seen other. nothing like that That's in my fact. life. Niggas love, love each other. I'm sad. surprised you ain't get an act yet. You know, he been, see what I realize is, he the type of nigga, he like the black boy me, so I try not to be too aggressive with that nigga, he emotional, you feel me? He emotional. <laughs> he, ain't from our, he ain't from our world. Nah. He won't understand. from his mom's basement. I, I can tell he ain't, he ain't <laughs> outside, real shit. I can tell that nigga ain't he from his mom's outside. basement. Or the mom's house. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga, damn, niggas wanna call me when I'm on. Yeah, I, that tomorrow. I don't understand this. Please don't call me when I'm on live, y'all. I see I'm doing my thing. Yeah, hey, yeah. Call yourself, bro. It's cool. I'm at you. These people be talking bare fuck reach. Don't worry about that, man. Right now, it's yeah, got to be the same time. I'm at you, man. Hey, yeah, like I was saying, man. Yo, Loki, man. I mean, I'm happy you came out here. Yeah. I see you dropping Lit Crip Part 2, man. What's going on with that? Yeah, that's coming That's coming with the real music. That shit I just dropped is the warm-up. That's just to get the people tuned in. Mm -hmm. The second project right now is about is, is the real music, the real tone, the real start telling my story, the real energy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to give them two sides. They want the Loki or they want the Shmula. So the Lit Crip is the Shmula. That's all about the money. The Loki Low is more like Nightmare on Pistol Street, Shmenace Society. It's two sides to me. You got the shooter in and you got to get money, niggas. So you want the Loki Loke or you want the Loki Shmula? You know what I'm saying? So like yeah. certain mixtapes come with the Loki Loke. Like Shredder Society, that's block work, gunplay. You know what I'm saying? Gang banging. Mm -hmm. Then you got uh, Nightmare on Pitcher Street, Shredder Society. Same shit. Certain things done happen. Niggas done got killed on my block. Certain people done, you know what I'm saying? Done, 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 done gave it up and they ain't never coming back because of the block. And you got the get money shit, Lick Crip. I ain't one, Lick Crip too. And then I see him keep like. watching for the mother, nigga. I see him keep throwing mad subs. Hills. I see him throwing <laughs> mad subs too, lady, like, oh, we ain't never run from a nigga. We ain't never. Boy, listen, let me straighten something out for all you Instagram motherfuckers right now that keep talking about this Summer Jam shit. Bro, listen, I'm going to forever explain myself about this for niggas. I'm not your camera, that's on Crip. What I'm saying is, niggas don't understand the definition of running. The reason why they saying Loki ran is because they used to Loki jumping in the crowd. Nigga used to used to be being the, the dumb out. Like what? Fifty niggas? Oh, him out. Bloom, 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 bloom. That's what they used to. So now it's like, oh, the cuz didn't react to how we used to see him react for fucking 10, 15 years since he's been outside. He out of bounds. He with niggas that ain't react for him. So y'all don't know what's going on. That's what that was, man. Y'all could kill all you know the bullshit. So it's like, so it's like y'all niggas real shit. So like y'all niggas keep saying Loki ran. 6 9 still talk about me and his new songs and all this shit and DM me Nigga still. Nigga talking about spinning Popeye's chicken you know wings or some shit like that. Because he know for a fact 
I didn't run. I called him out. I told him let's box in front of his 50 mans. So half of y'all niggas would have seen 20, 15, 5, I told niggas, niggas coming out with a ran out 50, that park. It was 50 niggas there and, and <clears throat> behind 50 niggas talking to you, bro. Shit. He was talking to you behind 50 bro, niggas. Shit. So. Come on, man. Yeah, At shit. the end of the day, man, you a legend, bro. So right. keep doing your thing. Yo, you want to know what certain niggas go? I was locked up with certain niggas, right? Like, certain niggas gonna be tight. Like, I don't give a fuck, bro, because I'm all for it for whatever I say. You heard? Mm -hmm. Like, ain't no apologies for nothing. But niggas know what I'm talking about. And he know what I'm talking about when he watched the interview, because I know the CEO will put the interview in front of him. But it's like, bro, I done been locked up with niggas. I'm tatted up. Crip, G Stone, everywhere. Get straight, nigga. Six point stars on my arm, on my back. I got Crip on my back. G Stone, Crip, Boss Hog on my back, nigga. On my hands, you see what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Little skinny nigga. Five point stars crossed out right here, all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? Loke on my arm. You see, them stars ain't come from nothing. Those ain't just magical stars. Niggas is with the stars. You know what I'm saying? It's facts. You feel me? So it's like, niggas was locked up, and y'all niggas went to jail, and y'all niggas was low riding, bro. Whether you was crip, folk, whatever. A lot of you niggas was low riding, bro. And y'all niggas come outside now, y'all big cho, big woo, big this. Bro, stop it. That's why niggas be saying so much about me, bro, because my street, my shit is just so was like. That's Pop Smoke said, turn, um, couldn't turn Crip, so he turned folk. Yeah, I love him. For Facts. That. Nah, I love him for that. Facts. That ball right there really made me start to like him. I started to like him. I started to like him. You see, I tell you. This interview, I started to like him. Get off this interview when you watch this interview and go on Young Jesus' page and say heart to heart. Just right with Barbara. Heart to heart, man. We got to give, we got to give, New York City got to give Young Jesus some more respect, man. Get that Crip out right now. All trappers. If you want to we the crib out now. We the crib part two on the mm -hmm. way. You know what I'm saying? And I said, I think Facts. this is part one with Smokey. Facts. Loki Smoke. I'm bringing, I'm lo bringing Loki Smoke. We're gonna bring him back. Yeah. Shout out Walker Flocker too. too. That's a fact. We got Flocker back. Shout out French and Brick Squad. Brick Squad. Mm -hmm. Queens. All right. Shout out. Shout out. All right. So the crib two. Are we expecting any features? Oh hell yeah. Okay. Who are you expecting on that? I'm gonna just name two of the cribs. Hallelujah. Fabio. I bet. But I ain't even gonna ask you what's the name of the track, so I just want you to hit the people with it. I'm feeling wishy. <laughs> I pray I run into a blicky. <laughs> yo, listen. You see? Yo, yo, yo you see it's free over here? Yo, <laughs> like, we gotta get the juice. We're about to start rapping and get <laughs> yeah, the juice, huh? God, right? <laughs> get the juice. It's a bucket, yo. I'm done with free. Yo, anyway, yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Kills so Frosty. Flight School Pre. Loki Smooth, man. Gaza the motherfucking city. Gaza the city. You already know what it is. CIP, all the fallen soldiers, and Antique, Shiesty, Pop Smoke, nigga.